Now, President-elect Joe Biden is taking steps towards building out his cabinet, and many of his nominees point to his commitment to have a diverse administration. To speak more about the future president's administration, let's bring in Bloomberg's Tyler Pager, who covers politics for Bloomberg. And Tyler, I think the most high-profile appointment or pick uh, we should talk about right now is the Treasury Secretary, and it is reported to be Janet Yellen, the former Federal Reserve Chair. Um, how significant is this, given that she served both the Obama and Trump administrations? Yeah, so it's a historic pick. It um, will be the she will be the first, if confirmed, the first female uh, Treasury Secretary, and is someone that is um, extremely experienced and familiar with with the workings of of Washington and uh, oversight of the economy. Obviously, the the first uh, the uh, first female Fed chair, and, and now um, the first female uh, Treasury Secretary. What about his Secretary of State pick, Anthony Blinken, who had served uh, Vice President Biden, President-elect Biden, when he was Vice President? Exactly. Uh, Tony Blinken has been one of Joe Biden's longest-serving aides, was with him in the Senate when he was uh, chair of the Senate uh, Foreign Relations Committee, and, and someone that served with him uh, when he was Vice President and then uh, got promoted in, in the Obama administration. And I think what you see across the picks that were announced today and will be formally unveiled tomorrow um, is that they are very experienced Washington uh, hands. They are people that um, are, are part of Joe Biden's efforts to restore American leadership abroad and signal that America um, will will take a very different approach than it did under uh, President Trump with a prioritization of alliances and agreements. Things like the Paris Climate Accord, our, our nuclear deal, our World Health Organization, NATO, all of those things that Donald Trump has either withdrawn or attacked, we'll see a very different approach under the Biden administration as he signaled with his picks. Now, Biden also plans to nominate the first Latino to uh, lead the Department of Homeland Security and the first woman to lead the Intelligence Committee. What can you tell us about that? Was that always his plan or did this all kind of come into place as he rounded out the rest of his cabinet? Yeah, Joe Biden as a candidate, as president-elect, has always said that he wanted to have a cabinet that reflected the diversity of America, and he wanted to make history with a lot of these picks, and, and he is doing that. Um, I think particularly, you know, with um, the, the DHS pick, um, Alejandro Mayorkas, he is someone um, who is a, a, a Cuban-born um, immigrant and will now be overseeing a department that um, instituted a hard line on immigration. And so, you know, a, a big contrast there from what we saw or uh, what we've seen with the Trump administration, April Kane, someone that is also, you know, his pick um, to oversee DNI, is, is, is another person, an Obama alum, who is extremely experienced and, and elevated now to the first woman to oversee uh, national intelligence. Speaking of another Obama alum, um there's no actual cabinet post for this, but apparently Joe Biden is going to have former Secretary of State John Kerry return to government to serve as climate czar. How progressive do we think Kerry will be on this coming on the heels of a Trump administration that was largely dismissive of climate change? Yeah, so this is a big appointment and a big posting for a very, uh, uh, you know, experienced person, former Secretary of State. Democratic presidential nominee in 2004 and a, a longtime senator from Massachusetts. John Kerry stepping into a role that has uh, an enormous portfolio and power. Um, I don't think we'll see Joe Biden change his position in, in not supporting the, the Green New Deal, but he has proposed a very ambitious climate plan um, and, and wanted to you know, elevate the, the issue of climate change in his administration and signal to the country and the world the aggressive role that America is going to take in 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 um, in trying to combat climate change uh, around the world. Yeah. Vice uh, President Joe Biden, President, President elect Joe Biden, sending a strong signal to everyone with some of his early picks. Tyler Pager of Bloomberg News. Thank you for giving us the latest there. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.